number 15. Carbon zinc dry cells, sometimes referred to as non-alkaline cells, have an EMF of 1.54 volts and they produce single cells and variations, blah, blah, blah. Letter A. How many 1.5 volt cells are needed to make the common 9 volt battery used in many small electronic devices? So first of all, you got to know how these things are connected. I don't know how you would know that, but um, they're connected in series. Now you do. So anytime we have these individual cells inside of a battery connected in series, you have to know that the total voltage then that's necessary will be equal to the voltage supplied by one cell plus the voltage supplied by the other plus the voltage supplied by the other, a dot, 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 dot. This is exactly opposite to if they were in parallel. The voltages then would have been constant amongst each of them and equal to each of them, not added. The total would have been equal to V1, which would have been equal to V2, which would have been equal to V3, okay? Now... Uh, what we realize is that we have a total voltage of 9 volts. And we know that each voltage here of each cell is going to be about 1.54, right? Now, it's it's almost like saying 1.54 times x, right, plus V2, which would have been times x, you know, V3 times x, because I don't know how many there are going to be. So in other words, I can just plug in my x here, and I can divide then by the 1.54. And in other words, when I do this, when I take 9 and divide it by 1.54, we realize that we get about 5.8. So we're going to need about 5.84 cells because each of them, right, produces 1.54 volts um, to then equal 9 volts. But we can't have a fractional amount of a cell. So either you're going to have 5 or you're going to have 6. So if you need 9 volts and you know at a minimum and you know you need a fractional amount of cells, obviously you're going to round it up. Okay, so we're going to need about six cells to actually use, can use a fraction. Then it says, letter B, what is the actual EMF approximately now? So again, we're using now six cells because we, we can't use 5.84. So this is very simple. If you had six cells and each of them were 1.54, what would be the total amount of EMF or aka voltage? Right, electromotive force kind of means voltage. So just take six and multiply by 1.54 and that's 9.24 now volts. Okay, that's that. That's letter B. And then letter C, discuss how internal resistance in the series connection of cells will affect the terminal voltage. So internal resistance will reduce it. All right, so, um, you know, when you link all these cells together, they're connected via wires, and there's resistance in those wires. So this is like the theoretical max, it'll be a little less, aka about nine volts. Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Be well.